Why are you doing that for? Because I can. That's an answer I give a lot to people when I kind of get this question. Uh, what are you doing that for, right? Uh, a lot of times people will ask other individuals, why are you doing that for? And, and the reason is, uh, which I'm going to get into some specifics here, what I mean by this. The reason is people will ask another person, why are you doing that for? Or what are you doing that for? Sometimes can be because of their own insecurity about themselves. They feel ins insecure about uh, where they're at in their life or maybe just their own awareness of themselves uh, in contrast to who you are and what you're doing with your life. So it can be a lot of uh, context. So I'm going to give some examples here in a minute. But I call it um, this phenomenon or, or situation by which it's almost like people feel like they need to apologize for either taking care of themselves or apologizing for doing something good or positive, right? Like, so, oh, well, I need to apologize for it. As if you owe an apology or heck, if you even owe, as if you owe an explanation to other people for why you do what you do. Uh, so this can happen. I'm going to give an example. Let's maybe so, you're someone out there and maybe you're in your 30s or 40s. Hell, you might even be in your 50s and, and you've made a decision to go back to college. You want to further your education. Uh, maybe you want to do something different, right? You want to develop yourself. You have a goal. So maybe you you talk about it, right? And sometimes maybe you talk about it to the wrong people and they'll say, oh, what are you doing that for, right? What are you doing that for? That's an interesting thing as if somehow you need to explain it or justify it. So people will do that. Sometimes people feel threatened uh, when you start leveling up or making changes. I see people sometimes in relationships and let's say uh, maybe they're a bit, um, they've been sedentary. They're not physically the healthiest. Maybe they, yeah, they need to lose some weight, uh, take better care of themselves. And uh, yeah, maybe it's the guy, right? Maybe it's uh, the guy, uh, boyfriend or the husband. He starts, uh, yeah, I'm going to start going to the gym, exercising, eating healthier. Uh, yeah, I want to improve myself. And maybe his uh, partner will will feel threatened by that. And she'll say, what are you doing that for? What's, what's going on with all this, right? As if you need to justify it or explain it. And this can happen. A lot of different contexts with this. Uh, what are you doing that for? So other people's reactions to you primarily is, is a function of their own awareness of themselves and how they feel about themselves in contrast to you. So when you start making changes, um, doing things, people sometimes because either they can't do it or are not willing to do it or just simply not doing certain things in their life. Yeah, they, they feel threatened by that. And they're going to ask you, what are you doing that for? What about an older guy or an older woman who's dating somebody who's 15 years younger, right? You might see that happen. Who's to judge? So you're at a high school reunion reunion, and someone might say, um, hey, why are you dating? Why do you date young women for? Or why do you date younger men, right? Uh, and, and, and so I, I've heard stuff like that and they, people want to question people's uh, relationship choices. Uh, and okay. So I had a friend actually ask me one time, well, he, he mentioned it. You know, you know, people are asking me why I'm dating this uh, girl who's, 15 years younger, to which I said, you know, next time somebody tries to make an issue of that, just, just simply address it this way. When they ask you why you date younger women, just say, because I can. Yeah, that's right. Because I can. That's it. It suffice to say, because I can, no explanation required, right? There you go. So you get the idea. Apologizing for, for your options you have available to you or what you can do, making choices, self-improvement, or just things that you derive happiness from, right? Now, we'll clarify um, within a healthy context, things that are not hurting other people, uh, your lifestyle choices, self-improvements, things like that. Yeah, these, these are things typically no explanation required. It's sufficed because you can. And the whole other issue of maybe there is something people are trying to address with you, or maybe it's not a healthy thing, uh, or maybe something that's not good. That's a side issue. It's not what I'm talking about today. So anyways, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, you can go a lot of directions with this. May maybe um, that becomes your catchphrase for a lot of things. Simply put, people ask you a question for why you do something. Because I can. No explanation required. Thank you and have a good day.